Video games. One of the largest industries in the world today. But how did it all start? Well, many different people believe different things, and it all really depends on your perception of what is actually considered a video game. Welcome to the fabulous 50s. At this time, the US was in an economic boom, and Japan still doesn't know what a video game is. NASA got it started here, and the Soviets launched Sputnik 1. And the transistor finally came around in 56 with widespread use in computers becoming increasingly more popular. So, hey, I'm Pilot72, and this is the Gaming Years, 1951. Way back in 1901, a game called Nim was created. Actually, the most modern version of it was created, the original game dating back to ancient China. Nim is usually played using matchsticks and involves picking up objects from a pile in tandem with another person. The person to pick up the last is the winner, or in some cases, the loser. There is a whole metric ton of complicated math involved, even for me, a freshman in geometry, which is pretty ironic for a game that involves picking crap up off the ground. Now, what does this all have to do with video games? Well, in 1951, there was the game of Nim, played on Nimrod computers. What's a Nimrod, you ask? Well, a Nimrod is one of those huge computers. Believe it or not, their only purpose was to play Nim. Ferranti, the company who created the Nimrod, claimed that they made it to show off the power of computers to the general public. The Nimrod was first displayed at the Exhibition of Science during the 1951 Festival of Britain. And when the festival ended, the computer was shown in Berlin. The Nimrod is often considered the first computer made specifically to play a game. Nim used no graphics and instead used a display of lights. And that's about it. Well, that's all for this episode, and thanks for watching The Gaming Years 1951. Check back soon for the next episode, we'll keep taking a look at the fabulous 50s. I'm Pilot72, and I'll see you next time.